Gun Venture is brought to you by Gun Delio, Smith and Wesson, and Black Hills Ammunition. In the heart of Bend, Oregon, Nosler makes bullets, ammo, and rifles. So we took all three to the high desert for some shooting. So Zach, Nosler's been making some new cartridges the last few years. You, you started out with the 26 Nosler, right? Correct. This last year we came out with the 28 Nosler. Both the 26 and 28 are really magnum cartridges, high velocity stuff. And now we have the 30 Nosler, the latest introduction to the Nosler cartridge family. Everybody loves 30 caliber in America. Right. The magic of the 30 Nosler is it takes really the finest attributes of the other 30 caliber Magnum cartridges out there yeah. and puts it into one cartridge. That's what you were saying. I mean, you kind of have some elements of what bench rest shooters do to have super accuracy and what you know you do to get super velocity. I mean, tell me about it. So it does, uh, like the 26 and 28 Nosler, it uses a standard length action. So the same length action as a 30-06. So you don't have to worry about that extra weight and uh, bolt throw of a Magnum length action. Yeah. Uh, it's got a 35 degree shoulder, so it's got a very efficient powder burn. Actually, wait a minute, Ryan. I actually have a cartridge, the 30 Nosler, in my pocket. Here. All right, this is the 30 Nosler. That is it. So it's actually loaded uh, up front with a 30 caliber, 210 grain Acubon long range. Okay, how fast is the 210 grain going? We're gonna be shooting at 3,000 feet per second out of the muzzle today. Nice. That ballistic coefficient of 730. 730. That's right, so it's gonna help us shoot uh, well past a mile if we wanted to today. The cool part is we've come out to this great property in Central Oregon, your, your neck of the woods. We've got targets all the way out to past a mile. So we've got the 26, the 28, and the 30 Nosler. Your rifles, your ammo. Let's see how far we can stretch these things. Let's do it. Chris, I'm ready to do some shooting. Well, your rifle's zeroed, my rifle's zeroed. I feel pretty comfortable. Yep. And we've got a ton of targets. We've got a ton of targets out there going way out there. I've got the 28 Nosler. I've got, got the 30. The, so let's, uh, we got some spotters are gonna help us out. Let's shoot. I blame anything that happens then on the spotters. <laughs> always, always. Chris and I jumped on the rifles and Michael manned the spotting scope. A lot of rounds went down range with hits getting longer and longer. But even target shooting has its hazards. Nice. Good hit. Ooh Scoped myself. Well, what happens when you're shooting at angles and you're getting right up on the gun? Well, that's what happens. Chicks dig scars, right? Hey, wipe it off. There's shooting to be done. How do I look? Do I look cool? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Same elevation, daylight left. Send it. Oh, right oh edge. my god. You're hitting this target, Ryan. That's all there is to it. So give me slightly more than daylight left. You ready? Send it. There it is, money shot. Bam! How far is that? That's a, hang on here, that's 1180 meters. So that's 1300 yards almost. That's far. Well, that's fun. I know the 28 nozzle is a flat shooting cartridge, but when you have help with spotters who know what they're doing, adjusting the scope, and really just have to hold on up to a point, you can make some really long range shots. We actually went so far out there that I ran out of adjustment on my scope. So then I just had Michael helping me, telling me where to hold, hold about a target's length up, about, you know, just give it some daylight to the left, adjusting for the wind, and the wind is shifting constantly. It's hard to make that shot. I was just pulling the trigger. The credit probably goes to the spotter on this one. The 30 Nosler is like a 300 wind mag on steroids. A great shooter. I'm only holding 28 minutes of elevation at 1,300 yards. That's like half of what you do with a 308 at 1,000 yards. What a flat shooting rifle, and it really isn't that punishing. For some people, long range shooting is a challenge. 
for me, it's a huge challenge. Of course, it helps to have really good gear and a really incredible cartridge. When the guns are put away, it's time to check out the local brewery.